What up, y'all? It's your boy, Drill Sergeant Lynch. I'm back again with another mother freaking video. Hope y'all stay focused and motivated at this time. I can honestly say that I am right now because there's a lot of changes, a lot of new things going on in my military career. As far as me being a drill sergeant, I would love to update and share with y'all. So first things first, as y'all seen in the title of this video, right? I have experienced a basic training fill without the shark attack in it, okay? So let me explain to y'all from what I remember what happened, right? This is probably about a week or two weeks ago. Um, I got asked to go to another one of my one of my units that are in my battalion and record them as they did their first 100 yards. So, what happened was this company that I went to, they had already been through yellow phase. They've done their control monitoring. They're getting out of control monitoring. As I walk up in the morning, I see the trainees carrying all their bags, their duffel bags, everything. They're carrying all their duffel bags outside and they're going there making a formation in what we have called our PT pit, which is behind my previous company, right? So the company, they're forming up in the PT pit. Um, it's kind of like a shark attack. It's kind of like a shark attack as far as there's maybe one drill sergeant every, I don't know, every few hundred feet, I say there's a drill sergeant kind of directing the trainees where they're going. And they're, you know, they're being loud so the trainees can hear them. They're telling them to hurry up, grab their bags, pick up their bags, let's go, move your bags from here to there. They're not all in their faces. You know, they're not all coming up with the shark hands and screaming all in their faces. Nothing crazy like that. They're not having them do no kind of, you know, push-ups or anything crazy. They're just kind of telling them to get your bags out of the building. Bring your bags over here. Get over here. Hurry up. Move with a purpose. Grab the bags. They're your bags. Get them. Bring them over here. So all the trainees formed up um, in their, I guess they were their normal formations that they had. Uh, once they got there and did the and and got all focused and put all their stuff down, um, from what I can remember, y'all, I know that all the drill sergeants were introduced. Um, they were just getting the trainees all lined up and put in their formations. From there, they showed a video. Uh, to me, these are one of those motivating videos that you get when you join the army. When y'all go to reception and they want you to know, you know, okay, now that you're here and you've gotten. And you're starting to get integrated in the army, this is what you're really getting into. So they show this video, little clips of, you know, the more recent past training that soldiers and different companies have been doing, just different stuff that they've been doing. You're going to have the drill sergeants up there. There's a little bit of dramatic music. You know, they make it look kind of cool. The only thing I didn't like about it is the way that they had it. We have these, what we call these PT bubbles. It's like an outdoor dome that people can go inside to do PT under the inclement weather. So they had the video up there and just the way that they had it staged and put up there, it was dark outside. You couldn't really see it that much, but the speaker was loud enough so everybody could hear the music and everything. And it kind of did give you that feeling of, oh, okay, here we go. We're finally getting ready to get started. Um, so once they showed their video and they introduced the company command, the first sergeant, all the drill sergeants, the senior drill sergeant, once they did that, the whole company of trainees had a task that they had to do. But before they got to that, had to do that task, they got marched over to another place where they formed up. Once they got formed up at that place, the drill sergeants had explained to them, look, you guys have this task that you now have to complete as a team. Once you complete this task, you know, basically we'll carry on and we'll get started with basic training. Um, of course, they're instilling that discipline. They're, they're given that leader's presence that drill sergeants have, but they're not getting all up in the trainees' faces. It's not a bunch of, you know, here, do push-ups, do so. There's not a bunch of that going on, and they're not all over the place and all chaotic with it. It's very organized. The drill sergeants are loud. They are holding that presence. There's no cuss words, anything like that, but they are being loud and directing the trainees exactly what they want them to do. Trainees formed up in their formations. Drill sergeants explained. All right, to start basic training, before we start basic training, you will run, run around this freaking PT track. It's a quarter mile track. They didn't even run around the whole track. They did not even run around the whole track. They ran around maybe 85 to 90% of the track. Once they got done doing that, they went over to the area where there was, a, there was just a bunch of MRE boxes. There were five gallon water jugs. And if I can't remember, there was something else. I think that was all that they had, if I can remember. Y'all got to bear with me because this was almost two weeks ago. So they went over. They were specified to pick up a certain amount of MRE boxes. If y'all don't know what your MREs are, MREs are your meals ready to eat. So the MREs are bags of, of meals, high-calorie meals that you get for to keep you, you know, to keep you fed and to keep your, 
keep your calories up while you're out there doing training because you don't have you don't have the food from the diner facility. You don't have a hot cooked meal. You have these meals that are ready to eat, preserved, ready for you to eat. So there's 12 of them in a box. And I think they had to carry over as a platoon. Each platoon had to carry over maybe nine or 10 MRE boxes. I don't know, maybe up to 12 MRE boxes, something like that. But they also had to carry five gallon water jugs and they had to make it all together as a team. And if I'm not mistaken, there was a certain time that they had to make it over back to the P back to the PT pit where we originally were. So once they got to the PT pit, they also had a standard that they had a they, and they had a picture. They had a picture and it was like a, a standard operating procedure, a SOP of how the MREs and the five gallon water jugs along with their platoon phase banner, they had a standard of how it was all supposed to be set up and they had a time that they had to set it up in. So they all had to work together as a team. Somebody needed to take charge. Other people had to be able to work together and communicate to get this standard, to get this how they were supposed to have it. Of course, they didn't hit the time hack. There was probably three different times they didn't do it. So every time they didn't get the time hack, as a company, they would all do the corrective training together, which was, it was the push-up or something like that. Nothing crazy. They just had to knock out like five or 10 push-ups as a company all together, everybody all at the same time. Once they got up from their push-ups, they would attempt again to do it. They still didn't complete it. The drill sergeant would come up and check it and make sure. Nope, they didn't complete it. They would all have to do 10 more push-ups, 5 or 10 more push-ups, something like that. And then there was one last time. They still didn't complete it, so they had to do it that one last time. And then they, once they got it all together and squared away, that's when they all got their bags and, and put back in their platoons, back in the building, how they were supposed to be. So the new basic training without the shark attack it's not crazy, it's not too hectic, it's not too crazy. Of course, the drill sergeants are there displaying their presence, letting it be known, you know, I'm the drill sergeant of your freaking platoon. You're gonna do this to standard. And uh, you know, there's, like I said, no cussing, uh, no, a bunch of all in your face getting crazy, none of that. It wasn't very aggressive at all, at all aggressive at all, but the drill sergeants were there making it be known that they were the drill sergeants. This is how it's gonna be. You know, they're given that that leader, that drill sergeant presence. Of course, the trainees need to know that the, I think the point was made. Y'all not going to freaking make it in basic training unless you guys work together as a team all throughout your army career. You got to make sure you work as a team. Pay attention to detail is most is very important. And, uh, you know, moving with the purpose, doing what you got to do in a disciplined and an orderly fashion. I think they made their point while they were doing this uh, first hundred yards at basic training. So. Now that I've gotten through that, y'all, I want to give y'all an update on me, myself, and what I have going on in, in basic training world, all right? So, some of y'all may have known that uh, I started my third year as a drill sergeant just over a month ago. September 1st, I started my, my third year as a drill sergeant. That being said, y'all, I requested to do the third year, so that was all on me. I wanted to do it. I wasn't ready to take off my hat and badge yet. I still want to be a drill sergeant, but I did request to move to another unit. Um, mostly what happens with drill sergeants when they do their third year, they're either going to move over, unless they stay in basic training land, they can move over to the fitness training unit, they can move over to the return home unit, they can move over to the reception battalion to do different things over there, whatever the case may be, or maybe even the training support platoon, they may even be able to go there. And for me, it was up in the air condo where I was going to go. We didn't know if I was going to go to the fitness training unit or to the training support platoon. Didn't know. Ended up what happening, um, I got to go the reception battalion. And once I go work at the reception battalion, I'm placed in the fitness training unit, y'all. So now for my third year, I will be working in the fitness training unit, which is right across the street from my from my original unit when I was, you know, doing regular basic training stuff. So uh, what it means for me, y'all, working in FTU, my hours are going to be a lot different than they were in basic training. It should not be any more 18 to 19 hour days. I should I'm most likely um, I'm going to probably have about a 10, 10 hour work day, 10 or 11 hour work day. Um, I may go in. I'm going in the morning time. It's going to be dark when I go in, but it's finally when I come home, it's going to be light outside. I've already been there and experiencing it for this past week and a half or so. So um, a little bit later mornings, I don't have to do, it's not like a zero four morning anymore unless I truly want to, um, or unless I have CQ, then I'll have to work overnight. 
But uh, no more super duper early mornings. No more super duper late nights. And now instead of doing basic training for trainees with trainees, what I'm doing is helping trainees to recover from injuries and helping them to get stronger so that they can pass the Army Combat Fitness Test. I those From what I know, those are my two missions. To help them to uh, recover from their injuries and to help them to pass the ACFT. That's it. But that being said, there's a lot of different programs, a lot of different things that we do um, to, to get these trainees back into shape physically and mentally. Because when they come over from when they come over from basic training to FTU, um, you know, just being being the way that it is in basic training, the way that drill sergeants are there, you know, the drill sergeants are harsh. They're trying to they're not harsh, but they're tough. The drill sergeants are tough on the trainees. They're trying to show them the stresses of being in the combat and the battlefield and stuff like that. Um, you know, just holding them to soup. They're holding them to high standards, making sure that, you know, their discipline and their military bearing, their focus is on 100. Drill sergeants are really tough. There's a lot of different things that they do, but in, in FTU is very different. We're kind of bringing them, trying to get them mentally back into the fight. They feel like, you know, they're... They feel like they want to quit. They're kind of feeling sorry for themselves. So I, my thing that I love to do is try to motivate them. I try to keep them motivated, keep them focused to make sure once they get physically fit that they're ready to go back into basic training with the positive, keep a positive attitude about it and move on from there. So y'all, I just want to give y'all an update and let y'all know what's, what I got going on. If I have more time off, that's more time that I can put into some videos and chit chat with y'all and let y'all know how it's going in, in FTU. I want to give a big, big shout out to this last cycle that we just graduated, all the trainees that we just graduated from my last cycle. Um, if anybody's watching this, good luck to y'all. Do what you got to do. I know there's still a couple of y'all that's still here, still here um, waiting to go to AIT, but some of y'all have already left. So I just want to say congratulations to y'all. Y'all stay focused, stay motivated, keep your military bearing on 100, keep your discipline on 100, because when you go to AIT, all you're doing is continuing on your training before you actually go and join big army, go be in a big army. So salute to y'all, do what you gotta do. When we were at the forge, we went to the forge, y'all, our last field training exercise, and uh, the drill sergeant impersonations, the skits were super duper funny, y'all. I had a great time watching and doing what I had to do. Um, the last field training exercise was freaking awesome. It was amazing, man. Had a good, good time. So anyway, y'all stay focused and motivated. It's Drill Sergeant Lynch. I'm gonna get up out of here. If it's your first time to the page, comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I'm going to be talking about FTU as much as I can. Hopefully, it's a lot more than I've been recording this past couple months in basic training. But I got a whole new schedule now, so I got a new agenda. And it's to get these trainees mentally and physically fit to go back to basic training and complete their training so they can go to AIT. Y'all stay focused and motivated. It's Drill Sergeant Lynch. I'm out of here. Deuces.